Hi again, in the previous videos we talked mainly about the external heat sources and the heat transfer and how we can protect our indoor from the exterior temperature and sun rays and other factors. But is there any interior sources of heat other than the external ones? Well, yes, there is. While doing our energy analysis and study, we should consider a number of the interior factors which are mainly the, the number of occupants, the activities that they are engaged in, and the equipment and systems that they use. One key factor to consider is the, the role of people as interior heat sources. The human body generates heat through metabolic processes and this heat should be considered while planning a comfortable indoor environment. Of course, the amount of heat generated per person depends on the different factors such as their age, their activity and their clothing and so. The program of the building can also have a significant impact on its energy use. For example, a hospital building has a higher energy demand than uh, an office building. A hospital requires a comfortable indoor environment for uh, patients and visitors and staff. Uh, it also needs uh, specialized equipment and devices that could produce an unwanted heat. And of course, by looking at the program of the hospital, we can see that it, it operates 24-7, which further increases its energy use. To think about methods that reduces energy cons consumption in hospitals, we can, we can say that we might incorporate high efficient lighting and HVAC systems, as well as giving good care for the uh, form design of the building and how it reduces heat gain from the sun. An office building, on the other hand, has typically lower energy demands than a hospital as it is occupied primarily during uh, standard business hours and does not require uh, specialized equipment. We can incorporate daylighting strategies, energy efficient lighting and uh, HVAC systems, and maybe other features like uh, occupancy sensors that turns off the lights or the equipment uh, when they are not in use. So usually in the energy analysis process or while using energy simulation software, we should accurately input the data of the building program and the occupancy in order to get a precise analysis result.